Hopefully this goes well. I've just finished wiring the heaters on the first floor and I'm about to throw the switch. Uh, <clears throat> well, <laughs> if you're family, I love you. Here goes nothing. Okay, so at least I didn't introduce a short. Let's go take a look at the thermostat. Huh. That's, uh, I'll turn off the lights. It's actually quite promising. Well, the videos that I like to watch the most are kind of a how-to. And they demonstrate a person actually doing something. Most of the times, most of the time, the videos that I post on my channel are after the fact. Um, personally, I'd be a little concerned if, uh, if you're using my videos as an opportunity for learning the right way to do something, um, because I'm no electrician and this is only the third or fourth time I've done this, but hey, who knows? Maybe nobody else has ever covered it before. Uh, so... These things come from the factory with a connection at each end. So you can install at either end, it doesn't matter. You can accommodate. Okay. But because they do that, sometimes the wires are a little bit uh, messed up. So just retwist them, should be okay. Just plastic off the fins. Okay, so we'll put that aside now. Now, I, I don't think that this receptacle uh, was entirely necessary. I, I, I'm, I'm glad I did it, I guess. Um, but I don't think it was necessary to pass code. Uh, I'm really not sure, though. So, if you're doing this thing, please uh, don't take my word for it. This could be a whole lot uh, prettier, but once the wire's in, I find it fancy. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's that. That got damaged at some point, so that's as long as my leads can be. Hopefully, that's long enough. Um, I got these cover plates because I didn't know how else uh, to cover up this disgusting hole and I drilled my own hole through um, again because it's a sharp metal uh, the inspector might not be too pleased with me because there's the possibility that uh, it'll it'll um, cut the insulation on the wire but having said that it never moves
thing is supposed to have standoff feet so we don't scorch the wall and or burn down your house. And every time I open the damn box, I somehow manage to lose them. Although, I'm not the only person that has been opening these boxes, so it may be that somebody else did me a favor and lost them for me. get on with the job and uh, accommodate this later. <clears throat> the reality is nobody's living in the house yet, so I don't actually need um, standoff feet because I don't actually need to turn anything on. Uh, I've already determined that um, it's going to take me a couple of, I don't know, minutes or hours to figure out how to program these things properly. The thermostats, I mean, sorry. Um, time which I don't currently have. So, um, I will power these things up just to make sure that I wired them properly, and then I will more or less immediately turn them all back off. Um, because it's, and they, they actually put out, how do I describe this? At their lowest setting, they put out more heat than I want. Ah. Oh. oh, I can't even see what I'm doing, sorry. All right, so... There. Ground is still important. Very, very. And I don't know if I learned this from YouTube or something. I, I think probably I learned it from YouTube because I remember hearing it on YouTube. I just don't remember if I had already adopted. Anyway, the point is, um, somebody on YouTube, I think it's the Electrician U, he has a, a channel called Electrician U, I don't know what his name is. Um, he always likes to do the ground first. And you can't see what I'm doing, so there we go. All right. There we go, that's good, good, good. Good, All right. good enough. These wires are pretty short. Not terribly happy about that, but what's going to do? Okay, and then is that better? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And my understanding is that it doesn't matter at all, um, which is red and which is black. They're both hot. One thing I've noticed, and it's not an issue when you're only doing uh, one, two wires in a, a marette, but I have found that when I'm doing two solid wires and a twist or a braid, I don't, I don't know what to call this stuff, um, that it's quite helpful to have the braided piece ever so slightly forward of the solid wire. Maybe it only has to be a millimeter. Um, but what I, I, I'm not entirely sure what goes on, but basically eh, I suppose because the braid is so much softer, the action of squishing the marette on in the beginning will, will 
have the tendency to mash the braid down. Uh, so it becomes necessary to, to start it out a little bit proud of the solid wire and that way it, it if it gets mushed it just gets mushed into a, a good position as opposed to becoming unavailable all right so that's that and give it a bit of a tug and again give the, the braid a bit of a tug okay so that looks okay and that's that uh, for that part of it anyway um, I will, I, I, as I've said, this isn't even fastened to the wall. That um, need it doesn't need, but it's actually it probably does need. It requires the feet, and since I'm in this time, but at least the wiring's done. I can just test that the circuit was done properly, and then <clears throat> excuse me, turn the circuit completely off. Um, So I'll do that momentarily. I suppose at this point, a real YouTuber would be saying something like, uh, links to all of the products I'm discussing will be in, well, I guess I'm not quite there yet. I'm also not, uh, yeah, anyway. Oh, that's rule number one. Always put the tool back in the belt, otherwise you'll lose it. I've only discovered that, you know, 17,000 different times on this job, but anyway. I guess now it's 17,001.
So the thermostat that I'm using is single pole, which means only two wires. And I don't know if it's uh, standard or not, but I personally just like to keep the blacks together and split the circuit on the red. I don't think it makes any difference either way, just uh, just my preference. Again, if following the professional standard is important to you, you probably want to find another video. You've been warned. Okay, this is up oh, there. Just put it in the wrong section. Well, I suppose it's not in the wrong section, it's in an unexpected section. start on okay good so I was pleased to discover that these things come with holes at the back which happen to correspond to these holes here so I didn't need to purchase separate covers for these they're intended to hide that um, with some limited success so you still have to be careful when you cut these things out, but it's recoverable if you do uh, a cut of the sort of quality I'm capable of. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so on the top. Less important when you're doing only one. Uh, proper solid wire, but again, I like to put the braided side just slightly proud. Give it a tug, just to be sure. One and 
Okay, well, anyway, I uh, don't have to worry about that because I purchased my own box of these. What are they? Six by 32 by two inches long. Uh, I got them for the face plates. And the reason that I had to go to Home Depot and buy this extension is because this actually gets a little bit fiddly here. I should bend these now. Things get fiddly because you have to get through those heats or through that heatsink. And my previous bit would not fit between the fins. So I'm not actually putting any of these tight, tight, tight to the wall because, oh dear, even the new skinny one doesn't want to fit well. So I'm not putting anything tight to the wall because everything still has to be mudded. And I just want to make sure that the uh, mutter recognizes that they are um, welcome to, entitled to, expected to, whatever, get the thermostat out of the way in order to do their job. So. So I've just finished off the master and the bathroom. So according to this, let's see, these are on the west side, so that would be this. And it didn't trip, so that's a good sign. Let's go upstairs and see what we got. Okay, I see blink. Blinking is good. And over here, what do we got? We got blinking. Blinking is good. Okay. So I'm tempted to leave this circuit on because ugh, I cannot lie. When I come in here to take a shower in the morning, the floor is cold. I don't know. I'm tempted, very tempted, but I think probably I won't bother because, well, just because I can handle a lot more privation than I ever thought possible. Just one more thing left to do. I switched from DSL to cable today because DSL upload was uh, in my area capped at around point egg point eight megs per second minute i don't know it was terribly terribly slow it was not quite as bad as uploading through a modem as almost nobody alive today will remember but anyway it was really really slow so i upgraded but of course the uh, wireless access point that i plugged into it it remembers its ssid but apparently it doesn't remember the password that i set oh so long ago i mean it's only been unplugged for like three years. I don't know what the problem is, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna have to bring a laptop out and connect directly to it in order to make that thing work. So yeah, one last task for the evening. <laughs>